Good morning, everybody. It's Brooke with Mrs. Coghill Farm. And I've got some exciting news for you guys that have been asking about the pea chicks. Let's go. Okay, so here we are. We are in the area where the aviary is. These are the pastures that the goats and Mildred and Jesse were previously in, as well as Nugget and the geese. And if y'all just counted correctly, you counted five pea chicks and two pea hens. And guess what? That is the same number that hatched initially. So I just am thrilled to death to see all five babies out running around with their two mamas foraging looking i mean you can see that they're just deep embedded in eating insects and foraging and i'm not going to get too close because i don't i don't want them to feel like i'm after them because i'm not i'm just wanting to show you guys how big they've gotten and just i mean it doesn't seem like very long now their feathering is still looking like all five are hens, but that is no indication if you know peacocks. So um, while they all look like pea hens, there's no indication. I mean, we can't tell. Without doing a DNA sex test at this point, it's all just a guess. But at night, they come to this area and they get up on the top of the aviary which is behind me and that's where they roost at every single evening and it's safe so i'm so happy you can see them kind of going through the area in between moody's pasture and the fence here but y'all i am thrilled to see that all five are alive and well um the the work of the two mamas together combination work has just been amazing. It's been a sight to see from the outside looking in as to, I mean, they just, they just have formed a system and it works. So, you know, whatever it takes. If I was raising five babies, I'd need a help from another mama too. <laughs> so it's, it's been a blessing for both of them. And I still have no way to determine if all of those eggs came from one nest or if both hens may have laid in the same nest i'll never know that but it doesn't matter i mean what matters here is they they have a bond as mother and daughter that has allowed them to to raise five babies i mean they're half grown they're they're almost halfway as big as as the mamas are y'all see my boys in the background i don't get to go very far without them in tow and that goes for Dee, Dee as well but i am going to now show you something that i'm amazed at and i think you will be too so we're going to hop on the side by side and ride over to the area where the goats are living along with mildred and jesse and i'm going to show you guys what they have done with the wooded area okay so I told you guys I was going to update you on how the goats are doing in the wooded area that they have been fenced into. They have access to pasture as well as forage. And I think y'all are going to get a good idea of how well goats do with forage. I am going to drive on the side by side. This is an area that they do not have access to. So this is raw woods where they have not been, and I'm just gonna drive along and let you guys see the.
think that gave you an idea of where goats have not been. Now, I am to the spent, you can see it right here, where the goats have access to on the other side, and I'm in awe. Y'all just look. There's not a piece of green anything in sight. And yet you cross the fence over here and it looks totally different. So to say that goats are good foragers, foragers is uh, an understatement. I really didn't think that they could keep it this clean, but wow. I mean, it's just beautiful. It's beautiful. This, then their pasture areas out here to this. All right, so now that y'all have seen what these girls and boys, toppers in here along with Tip, Jesse's eating my shirt as we speak. Jesse, let go, baby. I wanted to come and just show y'all all these beautiful faces. If you saw my last video, then you know that Bootsy is potentially bred. And this little man right here, this is Topper, who would be the daddy, if that were to be the case. And I found out that a lot of you guys love Mr. Topper. Well, we've always loved him. I mean, he's, we love everybody, all our animals, but Topper, is so special to us in a lot of ways. He's been with us a long time. He's a beautiful, beautiful buck. He doesn't stink. He's a gentleman and approximately five months from now, he's gonna have some little ones with this lady here who is Miss Bootsy. So Topper, you're becoming quite the quite the man on the channel. Everybody thinks you're beautiful, as we've always known, but they also think that you are just so, such a, a gentleman that you, you don't do any of that stinky stuff on your beard, that you want to stay looking just as handsome as you always have. But y'all can see, he's kind of, um, He's, he's not a dominant goat, even with the girls. He's just, he just stands back. He lets everybody else do their own thing and he stands back and watches. And that goes for, for eating time as well. He lets everybody else eat before him. He, he's just, he's just a good natured goat all around. I showed you guys the wooded area and I showed you how well the goats have done with taking down the forage in the wooded area, but I didn't show you the pasture area. So Jason and I thought that these pastures were gonna be plenty big and that there was no way that the girls could consume the amount of grass that's in these pastures. Well, here's a little update. I guess you could see behind me the grass has been taken down to a minimum. The pastures beside here, I'm gonna flip the camera around. I don't know how well this shows up, but this right here on this side, on this side of the camera is the pastures that the goats are in. Well, I was gonna show you guys the grass, but Jesse wants to Obviously, she's got a little words of wisdom that she wants to share with you because she came and put her sweet little head on my back and wanted some hugs. So, we'll get to the grass in a minute. Right, Jesse? So sweet. Just want some hugs. So, standing back, you may can get a better image. On this side right here, this is where the goats are. Jesse, Mildred, all the girls. And then this side over here is the other side of the fence. And this is where Moody and Mildred will go. Look at the difference in the grass from one side of the fence to the other. Is that not amazing? I mean, I really don't know if I'm gonna have to cut grass in this side of the pasture anymore. If Mildred and Moody 
do the same job that the girls and Jesse have done on this side. Then I'm down a job, Jesse. I won't have to cut grass anymore. You and your friends will be lawnmowers. And that's what we want. We want them to have the access to all this wonderful pasture and consume it without having to have somebody come and bale it into hay because we don't have the equipment to do that. Nor do we, if the animals will consume it, then we don't want to have to go that route. But right now, standing right beside me, you can see Jesse is taking the grass down to the down to the dirt and this is a little bit of dirt here where we we actually dug the holes out but i i'm truly amazed at how much grass they've consumed peaches baby uh 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 what a pig's life Hey, Bo Peep. Bo Peep is our shyest goat on the farm. She is a full-blooded Nigerian dwarf, and she may she may have babies in the spring as well. Who knows? We'll just have to wait and see. Oh my gracious, she's letting me touch her. This usually does not happen. As I was touching Bo Peep, Jessie came out of nowhere because she is jealous and she did not want me loving on anybody but her. So all the hugging has to come when Jessie's preoccupied with something else. So I hope you guys enjoyed the update about the Peachicks, which aren't so chicks anymore. I mean, they're, they're growing up on us pretty fast, but hope y'all enjoyed seeing all of those and hearing about how the goats are doing with their new forage and their grass situation. It's, it's all just working out wonderful. And I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And we appreciate it. Y'all be good.